10 Movies You Shouldn't See By Yourself Alone The horror genre has numerous varieties, but the objective is always to terrify the viewer. People enjoy horror films because they provide a safe environment in which to experience the heart-pounding adrenaline rush of life and death. Horror film directors use a creative touch to approach serious topics. Jordan Peele's Get Out and U.S. are two excellent examples. You might prefer to see it at a crowded theater or at home with your buddies. Before we get in into the list, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, let's get started. 10. Halloween There are so many sequels and adaptations in the horror genre that it's sometimes necessary to start with a classic. This picture pioneered several aspects of horror narrative that are being used today. This is the 1978 Halloween classic. The film, directed by John Carpenter and starring James Lee Curtis, recounts the story of a killer who returns to his hometown on Halloween night and stalks a group of teenagers. Many others fail to equal the ferocity of the first, which remains a tense and unsettling encounter. There are a total of 11 films in all. 9. It follows. The genre is predictable and repetitious, but every now and then, a director surprises us with a unique and unexpected twist. The strange and dreamy nature of this narrative heightens the sensation of uneasiness. It follows a college girl called Jay, who becomes the target of a mysterious entity after having a sexual experience with her boyfriend. Only Jay sees the monster, which takes on various human likenesses and approaches with an unnerving gait. One interpretation of the film's events is that death is unavoidable. It tracks us all, and when it catches up with you, you die. Even in a group, the dread of the unknown and the relentless march of death makes it a terrifying experience, let alone doing it alone. 8. The Blair Witch Project The popularity of found footage horror was fueled by the Blair Witch Project. Films made with found footage have a real-life feel to them. The actors aren't required to do anything. They must instead be as natural and realistic as possible. When it was exhibited at the Sundance Film Festival, it was billed as video found from the film crew's equipment, and the actors were said to be missing or dead. The narrative revolves around a group of film students who go into the Black Hills area to create a documentary about the Blair Witch tale. With a gradual yet dramatic buildup, the film is devoted to reality. 7. The Shining The Shining is based on the same named Stephen King novel of the same name. The film follows the Torrance family, as they spend the winter at the famous Overlook Hotel, where Father Jack serves as the caretaker. Danny, Jack's little kid, with a psychic talent known as The Shining, which lets him see the hotel's many spirits. Jack's gradual disintegration is frightening to see throughout the film. The hotel's powers play with his mind and turn him against his family. The Shining is widely regarded as one of the best and most influential horror films of all time. Despite Stephen King's criticisms about the film's deviations from the novel, it remains one of the most scary horror pictures ever made. 6. The Conjuring After The Exorcist, The Conjuring is regarded as one of the finest horror films of all time. James Wan, a fan favorite, helmed the first film in the now-famous Conjuring world. The narrative is based on real-life paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, and it is inspired by hauntings they have investigated. The Warrens begin the film by attempting to help the parent family, who are having strange, unexplained happenings in their Rhode Island home. The film received a lot of praise for its outstanding photography and classic yet effective shocks. The film improves on the classic fright that horror is meant to provide. Conjuring is for when you're in the mood for a spooky good time. 5. The Thing The Thing is well known among horror fans for its classic visual effects, which render body horror realistic and visceral. The film creates a paranoid atmosphere. A shape-shifting extraterrestrial hunts a research team in Antarctica, taking on the appearance of its victims. The characters are cut off from the rest of the world, and no one knows who may be a monster in disguise among them. When you watch the movie alone, it's terrifying, but it's much scarier when you see it with others. When John Carpenter's The Thing was initially released, it was generally reviled and derided as junk due to its excessive use of special effects. People's reviews, on the other hand, encouraged more people to see it and add new viewpoints to the table. 
It is now one of the most well-known horror films, with several spin-offs and fan paraphernalia. 4. Hereditary Hereditary is a fantastic film for two reasons, its terrifying premise and outstanding performances. The death of Grandma Ellen Graham exposes her family to a monster. The family of the daughter begins to piece together obscure and more scary facts about their ancestors. The more they learn, the more they must flee the dreadful situation they have inherited. The supernatural aspects of the film are not the main emphasis of the film. Hereditary immerses you in the sorrow of the family and the predicament they find themselves in following the death of their grandmother. Grief and a lack of support may drive individuals down and leave them open to evil. The feeling of dread lasts till the very last second of the film. 3. Lake Mungo The Australian psychological horror film may be the most underappreciated horror film in recent memory. Alice is 16 years old when she drowns while swimming in a nearby dam. The documentary format of the film is used to portray the tale of a family's experiences after their daughter's death. Strange occurrences lead them to discover a secret held by their daughter, and it all starts in Lake Mungo. The film is a highly nuanced examination of mourning, and because we don't want to give anything away, we'll only recommend that you see it during the day. The cast is largely low-key and inexperienced, and they were not given prepared lines. Instead, to retain the appearance of realism, the directorial style used an improvisation technique. 2. The Descent The Descent is a film about a group of ladies who go caving on vacation together. The journey rapidly devolves into a fight for survival against the animals who call the cave home. The monster design and terrifying visuals in the film received a lot of attention. You'll be glad you're not trapped in a cave after watching this gloomy and claustrophobic dream. If you feel claustrophobic, you should either avoid viewing it or prepare yourself for it. The film had its world premiere at the Edinburgh Horror Film Festival, Dead by Dawn, and has since gained worldwide acclaim. 1. Hush Hush is a definite bet if you want to feel uncomfortable in your own house. The most certain method to make everyone behave suspicious is to use the word hush. A deaf mute woman is tormented by a masked killer via her remote woods house in the film. The two major characters, Maddie and the killer, sold the experience completely and went off on a tangent from the typical college people going hiking or a family moving into a haunted house. This narrative, on the other hand, was based on a more imaginative idea. When you finished viewing Hush, you'll find yourself pondering every sound as you try to fall asleep. The film premiered at the 2015 Toronto International Film Festival, and despite the lack of promotion, it garnered some of the greatest reviews of any horror film in recent memory. Horror is a genre that keeps you active by getting your heart pumping and giving you an adrenaline boost. However, if you are unable to watch it alone, you should not attempt it. There's no reason to be terrified and sleepless when you might be watching it with your pals.